It's a visit with a person of high strangeness. This is number two of the review shows um, that, that we did over the years. Just like last week, I'm going to ask you to push the record button because uh, you might want to go back on it later and see if um, there's something that reminded you of a show uh, that you'd like to have a copy of eventually. Now, one of the things that we ran into was um, even though we chose subjects um, that we had in the, um, uh, you know, in the titles, uh, it became real apparent that uh, we never stuck with the subject. And um, that was one of the things my intent was, uh, instead of having these clinical left-right shots and, uh, and where you had to stick with what you were saying, uh, it, it, we just kind of went all over and we found out the most wonderful things about people Sometimes they didn't know they had said a certain thing until after the shows were over. So, and so we kept the format, and um, and then the focus of the title became uh, the visit. The, the visit was the key word because uh, if you said, "Well, what subject are you going to cover?" We maybe we wanted to talk about UFOs, and we ended up with psychology or something, you know. And so. Um, so we added a lot of things in uh, 2001. That's the show you're watching uh, at the moment uh, that you're getting ready to watch. And uh, the friends kicked in. Uh, Tradition Cafe came along and loaned me clothes because by now I had pretty much run out of clothes, you know. Uh, didn't want to use the same thing twice. And so, um, so the community started to come into to help with certain things and like I said clothes were became a big part of it because people wanted to know what I was wearing um, people start stopping us on the street uh, they know I look like alligators and aliens so by the end of um, 2001 I must have had like maybe seven, eight alli uh, 70 or 80 alligator earrings and thousands of aliens uh, always tell everybody if you see me on the street feel free to to talk to me and give me your thoughts and so um, and that's what we did and uh, <laughs> it was just wonderful people would just bring me things you know that we used for props and things like that Malcolm was eight by now he took all the classes and um, he was part of almost every show there was and then uh, we started to take uh, the show out of the studio also where we would go other places on location shots and things like that. So let me quit rambling on. Um, here is uh, the review of 2000 and 2001. That was the public announcement uh, Bernie came up with and uh, it was kind of, <laughs> he really outdid himself and that's actually um, you, you see, here's actually, I should go this way, the Lacey Farmers Market behind us. And ingenious as he is, he put that right together for us. And you'll see that ever once in a while. So we thought we'd start you off with that. And uh, uh, the address to that is 30, is it 37 or 3100? I'm not sure what that uh, is. I believe it's 3100. Um, College Street. Right. Uh -huh. And we don't know if we're going to do this for the rest of the year, but right now that's where um, you can locate um, Tammy. And then, of course, she knows where you can find me. Right. And um, so we did a. I was fully proud of that. Mm hmm. Yeah, that insert. And then, um, let's see. Like I said, I think we started off with the educational shows. We had such a yes. variety of people coming in our lives that they just sort of fell out of the sky, you know. Mm -hmm. And then up here, is, yeah, here's one. This, this one was called Tripod. Um, that was uh, Lucia Herger with, uh, with Baba Bush and Lisa Belsky. And she showed us how to use a rebounder. Um, you can... Uh, uh, instead of a massage, she laid people on there and just walked on it, and they got a lot of calls on that. So, did you did you see this one? 
Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. I did. Yeah, it was so. a real interesting show. Yeah, it was very educational. Mm -hmm. And this one is Sidewalk Astronomy, How to Use a Telescope, Locations of Planets by Carl Zambuto. Zambuto, yeah. Um, that was one of the most recent ones. And what they do is they take, um, Carl actually makes mirrors for those telescopes by trade. And sidewalk astronomy means that they just go to parking lots at random and um, so the friends can go and look at different planets and um, different stars. And there he explained how, how it all worked and how it was set up and we we really enjoyed that one, and uh, um, request has been given for Vivans, and we will do that again. And then this was the, the second part; it was a two-parter. And the next one was called uh, on Eye on the Universe, where we just expanded on what he had, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. after he showed us how to do things. Right. Mm -hmm. And. Carl is a astronomer. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference between astrologer and astronomer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people get that. Uh, did, did you get to meet Carl at all? No, I didn't. didn't. I wish I would have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's beautiful shot. If you look at it, it looks like he's sitting in this, in this. Um, uh, Bernie did a really good job with that particular clip there where he just sort of set him in, in the universe. Um, actually, these are galaxies behind him. And, oh yeah, then these were the, um, the Oklahoma City shows. It was a news expose about the destruction of the federal building in Oklahoma. And um, we didn't have a guest for that one because we needed to air it in its entirety. So I was just sitting in the corner so you were just there by yourself. Mm -hmm. I was watching it with the viewers, and that was also a two-parter. That yeah, was no. a long one. Mm -hmm. And this is, uh, I believe, this man there, his name is General Patton. He explained why the explosive could not have, you know, blown up the way they did. And then this was the second part. Um, the Oklahoma City Affidavits about the destructions of the mm -hmm. federal buildings by Jane Graham. Yeah, the lady giving the affidavits, her name was... Um, Jane Graham. Jane Graham, yeah. And um, she had accidentally seen some of the footage and she was trying to identify these these two gentlemen there. And uh, and I, I thank the viewers for supporting me in those particular shows because yes. they were... Mm -hmm. Yeah, did you... Yes, I did. They mm -hmm. were very, I don't know what word to say, but... Informational, how's that? Yes, mm -hmm. very. And then we had the woman, Sani. She came up from Colorado, and you you met her? And you yes, I did. In fact, she stayed with me for a few days. She was very interesting. And, mm -hmm. um, and I questioned her. As a, she's a channeler, so uh, while they had been talking to her, I had her channel some mm -hmm. things for the program uh, about Mount Rainier, the Yetis, and the general affairs of the world. And the, f the friends really like her, you know. Yes, they mm -hmm. did. She stayed with us, what? What, about two and a half weeks, I yeah, guess it was? Yeah, almost three weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then... The Aura Photos, mm -hmm. are they next? How to Take and Interpret Aura Photos by Cindy Morgan. Mm -hmm. Cindy Morgan... Uh, do you remember we met them? Yes, we did, and they both took our auras and explained everything. Mm -hmm. It was that's real interesting. And, and they came from. Wasn't it from Oregon? Oregon. Yes, I think they mm -hmm. came from Oregon and and explained how it works. And of course, it's just a clip, but that's just to refresh your memory. And mm -hmm. and uh, it, the weather was bad when they came too. No, I don't remember. Was it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. And it was her and her companion. I can't remember his name exactly. I don't remember it either, mm -hmm. but um, I believe there was two of them that actually owned the camera, and they they took turns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Oh, and then this one, this one here, we called that landmine. Oops. And uh, that 
was the anti-terrorism bill that Tom Stahl and I covered. Uh, ironically, two months before 9-11, and uh, he, he explained in details how uh, this anti-terrorism bill that was um, put in legislature based on the Oklahoma City bombing, how mm -hmm. that affects every person in the country at this time. Of course, it was long before. Right. Uh, Oops, and et cetera. Before, mm -hmm. Expanded yeah. bill and personal thoughts by Tom Stahl. Yes, yeah. And um, we had a Native American young lady behind us, and uh, because it affected them too. Mm -hmm. And Tom Stahl is always a welcome. Yes. A welcome guest. And uh, he, he's given some personal thoughts there. Oh my, predictions 2001. Kanashi Bishan and I gave a, an overview and we did the predictions for the year 2001. Everything happened so fast to the point we had to come back in June and not be sure to just expand on that. And unfortunately, a lot of things that we were trying to avoid, you know. Well, a lot of things that you did, they, you know, that you predicted, they come true, pretty much everything, wasn't it? Just about, yeah. yeah. Um, I think we had a 90, 94%. Right. And then um, you had the update in June, like you said. Right, and then, then we updated Shibisha. it. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to change some things, but we just couldn't do it, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. So she's always so delightful when she comes. Yes, she is. Very knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. And, and when, when we explain something to people and we say, well, there's an open door, we can change this, if we all just by consciousness go into that, sometimes we can, mm -hmm. you know. Sometimes, yes. Sometimes, yeah. But it takes more than one person. Yes, it takes a bunch mm -hmm. of us. Mm -hmm. And then we had, um, towards the end of the year, we had a, Tim Cole came from Austin, um, Texas, and um, he gave us a crash course on positive thinking about snakes and their purpose in reference to the environment. And um, all the snakes were resting, so we didn't get any to come into, into the studio. And uh, so I think that was pretty much the, uh, that kind of concludes the uh, educational ones. Yeah, and then, uh, oh, there, here she is. Um, okay. So this is um, Growing Up Psychic with Sherry Anderson and uh, you can see Cindy Morgan. Well, actually, um, we talked about Sherry Anderson. She's the woman that is still missing up uh, to this date. Um, yes. That had disappeared at the Everett Mall. We was working on that and the guest was Cindy Morgan. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if they'll ever find her, maybe this spring or summer. I don't know. And then what you're looking at now is uh, shake them up and move them yeah. out. Discussions about what it takes for people to make changes in their lives, and that's mm -hmm. with Kenneshiba 